This is Twit. We also have, this seems to be abbreviation day. We all, I also ran across WFH, which is the new abbreviation for work from home. That's now a thing. WF, you, you WFH, you're WFHing. Anyway, last Thursday, HP's Wolf Security Group published a new study, which they titled uh, Security Rebellions and Rejections <laughs> Report. Not very optimistic. Uh, it's a compilation of data from an online YouGov survey aimed at office workers who adopted work from home and global research conducted with IT decision makers. So, as I said, on one hand, we've got the IT guys on the front lines trying to, like, <laughs> not have those lines move. And now all of this traditional in-office workforce, which has, you know, thanks to the pandemic, has been shuttled to home, who, who don't really understand why things are more difficult to do from the comfort of their couch, as opposed to the the inherent containment that you get when you have to go into the office, maybe even wear a tag around your neck to show that you belong there, uh, and then can sit down in front of your desktop at the office. Like, why is my my you know kids Chromebook at home any less secure than my IT enforced machine? On the desktop. Okay, so in total, 91% of the IT people surveyed said they have felt pressured to compromise on security due to the need for business continuity during the COVID 19 pandemic. So a little over nine out of 10, right? 91%. 76% of those respondents said that security had taken a backseat with 83% believing that working from home has created what was described as a ticking time bomb for corporate security incidents. I have a chart in the show notes which shows the relative level of threat IT teams feel as a result of their office working employees increasingly working from home. This was figure three from this report. And so 84%, the number one most occurring concern is ransomware. That home employees would let bad guys in who would then be able to crawl up the VPN connection into the corporate network and ransomware was the biggest problem at 84%. In second place at 83, firmware attacks against laptops and PCs. I thought that was interesting. You know, just like because this is, I guess the IT folks are, they're used to having the equipment in the physical plant and not spread out all over hell and gone. And where they don't have any control over it. So firmware attacks against laptops and PCs. Now, that's interesting, too, because that does suggest, and I'm suspicious of this, but okay, that the whole secure boot thing that we talked about last week really is important. That you, re you really want to know that the, the BIOS or UEFI firmware has not been altered in a way that would that would, you know, allow these uh, PCs to no longer be booting 100% legitimate OS. Such a difficult attack and requires usually on-prem attackers. I'm surprised that's ranked so high. Yeah. I really am. Yeah. I don't think that's as big a threat as they think it is. Or maybe it is. I don't think I so. Don't yeah. Also at 83, same threat level, exploited vulnerabilities in unpatched devices. Well, well yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Duh. That even fit. Uh, how, how does that even fit on this chart? That's like, all of them. It, uh, it, yeah. My Lord. You okay, mean Windows? So we, yeah. 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 So then we have a, at 82%, these guys really, I hope they're, they've got some, you know, anti-stress meds they're taking because they're really, really pretty worried about this stuff. 82% is data leakage, 
which is generic, but okay. Uh, 81%, I mean, these bars are just staying up there. 81% account <laughs> slash device takeover, man in the middle attack. Yeah, you might as well just say, yeah, we're worried about everything. Thank you. Yeah. You know, this probably was a multiple choice like yeah. uh, survey where That's they said, yeah, uh, yeah, and yeah, and yeah, yeah and we're, yeah, and yeah. Yeah, yeah we're like, worried about it all. So, yeah. Why you know, wouldn't like, we? Who? Who, yeah, who wasn't worried about data leakage? Yeah. I'm worried about anything that leaks. Yeah. So that's not, that's not good, especially as I get older. Okay, so IoT threats, we are that's at 97, or I'm sorry, at 79%. That's, you know, sort of a little more amorphous than I guess, you know, their, their own local PC stuff. Targeted attacks, Okay, so I guess probably that that flows from their own experience mm -hmm. of you know dealing with a, a a large employee cohort who are opening things they shouldn't. That's really what finally, they should be worried about. I would I would say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then down at seventy six percent are firmware attacks against printers. <laughs> That's oddly <So>. specific. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, Wonder it what they're say, talking about. <laughs> it didn't say green printers or anything. It just said printers. Printers. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So. Okay, so now the view from the suddenly remoted office worker, to, it does substantiate the worries of those who are responsible for securing the, their experience. Okay, specifically, according to the survey, young office workers in particular, you know, those pesky <laughs> muskrats that don't really understand all the damage that can happen— they're more likely to circumvent existing security controls and safeguards in order to manage their workloads. With 48% of this younger cohort saying that security tools such as all oh, those pesky website restrictions or VPN requirements, half of them say they're a hindrance. With at least one-third, 31% of them having at least attempted to bypass the restrictions. Overall, 48% of office workers said that security measures waste time and 54% in the 18 to 24-year-old bracket were more concerned with meeting deadlines than potential security breaches. And then, you know, I guess it's not their problem, right? It's like, oh, well, you know, those those pesky IT guys, they'll they'll worry about that. I just got to get my work done. And within that same group, 39% stated that they were unsure or unaware of their employer's security policies. Yeah, I just, you know, I cash my check. So it's like, okay. Um, three other bullet points which the report highlighted were, 37% of office workers believe security policies are often too restrictive. 80% of IT teams experienced backlash from home users because of security policies. And 83% of IT teams said the blurred lines between home and work life were making enforcement, and this was quoted in the survey, impossible. So... I guess, you know, it wouldn't surprise us that this is generically the case, but this really, I think, brings, you know, brings home just how much a problem was created by this, you know, rapid exodus from from the office to everybody working at home. Everyone likes it. It's like, yay, hey, this is great. We can conduct meetings. I can, you know take my own dog out for a walk uh, as necessary and so forth. Uh, and, and a lot of people don't want to go back, right? It's like, hey, this, <laughs> this is a good thing. Uh, Joanna Berkeley, HP's uh, Chief Information Security Officer, C CISO, C-I-S-O, she said CISOs are dealing with increasing volume, velocity, and severity of attacks. Their teams are having to work around the clock to keep the business safe while facilitating mass digital transformation with reduced visibility. She said cybersecurity teams should no longer be burdened with the weight of securing the business solely on their shoulders. I don't know who she thinks 
is going to take it over. She said, cybersecurity is an end-to-end -end discipline in which everyone needs to engage. Ah, so she's trying to say that people who could care less need to care more. Well, Joanna, good luck with that. Uh, you know, but tell that to, you know, someone who's having trouble authenticating to their remote employer's VPN uh, and who has no appreciation for the dangers that are lurking out there. I, you know, it's just not going to happen. I'm actually surprised it wasn't more of an apocalypse to me, to yeah. be honest. That's a very good point. Yeah. I mean, I guess it is yeah. an apocalypse, but of course these people are, don't, you know, they're completely vulnerable. Well, and we're not talking about those 11 ransomware, I'm sorry, uh, those ransomware attacks occurring 11 seconds, right? Right. Uh, they're getting in to corporate networks somehow. And, you know, so, and there has been a doubling of them in the past year. So, gee, maybe there's, you know... A correlation between all these employees having moved home and 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 so think about it too, Leo. The, the this is a survey from IT people who seem to have a clue about security. Uh, it how many companies just said, "Oh yeah, uh, go to Fry's and get one of those VPN boxes and you know attach it to the network and let everyone connect." Uh, the point being, you know. There's no doubt easily half of the small offices and enterprises that had to send people home didn't have or don't have the the ability really to to bring you know uh, full strength i t security to to the to the challenge. It just doesn't exist, yeah, within a smaller group, yeah <sighs> i I don't envy you guys. I know it's hard, yeah. man boy. Thank goodness I don't have a big crew. I've got yeah. Sue and Greg, and they they really and and even there, I will sometimes forward them some of some bits of these things mm -hmm. just to keep them on their toes. Yes, just to say this did, this problem didn't go away, guys. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So yeah, knock on wood. For I sure not. you know as I as I've said, I no longer leave drives mapped uh, to GRC's inner sanctum because careful as I am. It's not even really that much anymore about being careful. It's like there's so many, there's yeah. so much pr pressure to a get zero in. zero day comes along and you don't, you don't. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. It's zero for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. 